That's the patty. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, January 17th, and we're at the start of a new week. I'm feeling exceptionally good today because a girl got up and worked out. I know, let's shout it from the rooftops, but not only did I get up and work out, Eric joined me. But yeah, I was pleasantly surprised that Eric actually got up at 6.30 with me and worked out. And it feels really good to have a partner. Misery loves company, I guess, type of thing. Come on, let's go. We got our workout in and that felt really, really good. So it is 7.40. Lou just bust right in the house. So it is 7.45 now. I have kind of planned out my mornings to be different now with working out. Hang on. So what I was trying to say is that now in my mornings with Mondays and Wednesdays, I go into the salon an hour earlier and I have found that that actually is a big difference in my morning routine. I just have an hour less essentially to get stuff done in the morning. So I'm finding that the mornings go a little bit quicker when I don't just get up and get after it. I just feel like I don't have enough time to leave here by like 10 30 and get ready and all that stuff I am changing up my morning schedule and routine a little bit which it'll feel so much nicer so essentially we're gonna be getting up at 6 30 in the morning work out it'll be cool if Eric continues to do that with me because it's just nice to not work out by yourself I don't mind working out by myself but I know he has some goals and stuff it's just a little bit more exciting so now it is 7 45 and I'm giving myself like 15 to 30 minutes to just kind of meditate and read while he's in the shower and then once he's done showering I'll go shower get ready yada yada. I have some exciting things that I'm gonna be documenting Obviously my goal this year is to get better with my health and fitness just like everyone else That's gonna kind of be the new weekly routine I guess it just feels good to get up and get going even though I didn't want to but we're done and over with so now on with the rest of this Monday girl is ready for work it is 9 40 now i don't have to actually leave until 10 30 so i'm feeling good i filmed a get ready with me instagram reel that i'm gonna take a little bit of time to edit and then maybe make some food and then by then it'll be time to leave but yeah it's feels good to get up and just do things for you that you know they take work but before you know it it'll just become habit and things get easier from day one so i hope that you guys are working towards whatever goals that you may have i hope that you're doing the little things that really do add up such as drinking more water and taking more care of yourself in whatever way that needs to be but yeah for me it's getting up in the morning working out and just trying to do the things that you know kind of calm the storm in my brain and make me feel better and one of those things is creating content and having fun with that and trying to find a balance of taking care of myself pushing forward towards my goals and surviving the everyday life struggles i'm gonna finish my coffee here edit my reel and then head off to work i actually have a really busy day today planned get off around seven and then we will have a nice dinner and hopefully just a chill monday evening on the couch it's wild how we all get up and do that same routine and don't even realize we have times where we're not taking care of ourselves or doing the things in our routine to help take care of ourselves so it just feels really good to be focused on self-care right now like i said i'm finish my coffee and i'll see you guys later it is time to go to work here is my outfit which if you saw my Instagram reel, you already know. Boots, crop jeans, ACDC t-shirt. Now let's go slay some hair. The lighting in here is horrible. Got myself a new brush. Oh, my hair gets so snarly. Home from work. Ooh, today was a busy one. Like, I... I'm like going like it's seven o'clock already. <laughs> I had two colors followed by I think four haircuts. I made it. <laughs> it was a really good day, but it was just one of those days where I just didn't get 
even if I had food that I brought with me and prepared, I didn't even get a chance to eat it. I am definitely looking forward to making an actual meal tonight to eat. So I think I'm gonna make just some chicken and rice and then make some vegetarian alternative for Eric. Eric is walking Lumen right now. He just finished walking Banksy. And so while he does that, I make dinner. Usually if we have easy dinner plans and I get home early, I'll go with him when we take Lumen. On nights like tonight when it's already seven o'clock, and he's just now leaving with her, it's more productive for me to stay home and make dinner so then by the time he gets back from walking her, then we can just eat. Uh, so yeah, it's it was a good day, but I'm definitely feeling like a uh, early night is ahead of me. <laughs> good morning. It is Tuesday, 6.35, and we're gonna go down and work out. <laughs> A little pre-workout to get me going, you know? I need it. There he is. Come on, let's go eat. Look at how pretty this guy is today. Ooh, it's so pretty. Come on, Lou. It is 7.30 now, and Eric and I have finished our workout. It feels so good to be done today. Upper body for pull kind of stuff, and it felt really good. And it's actually been really nice to have Eric work out with me. Usually we don't, years ago we used to work out together when I worked like a traditional job where I got off at the same time every day. We would work out at home, so it's nice that Eric actually wants to get up in the morning and work out with me, because that usually never happens. So I'm hoping that this sticks and it would, it's just like, it's nice time together. Lumen, let's eat. Why are you doing that, weirdo? Come on. First one canceled today. We had to reschedule, which is fine. At least it's not COVID, but I'm not holding my breath on that one. <laughs> I just know. I just know it's the inevitable that I'm going to get a text from somebody at some point this week needing to cancel. Oh, I know. Well, he's hungry. I better feed him. Die, but I just wanted to quickly show today's outfit. I'm just wearing just this dress from ASOS. I have tights on with socks because I'm gonna wear my Doc Martin boots. And then I have my harness on from Ardeo, which is just a nice way to kind of like change up a look. I really like it. But I filmed an Instagram reel that I am now going to go edit. I got a text from my last one, sending a COVID test. So they will need to reschedule. <sighs> So it looks like I'm gonna be home early tonight, unless I can fill the slot. Guess I'm gonna have to just wait and see how that goes. It's definitely frustrating to have a full day of clients and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, never mind. But yeah, like I said, maybe I'll be able to fill it. We'll see. It's kind of hard usually the day of, but we'll just have to wait and see. And if I don't fill it, then I'm just gonna try and be positive and think of it as like, well, I get to go home early and have dinner with my husband and make the best of it because otherwise I would have been in the salon until eight o'clock tonight with this particular client. So just trying to be positive and take it in stride and fill it, then that's great. And if I don't, then we'll figure it out. You know, that's just where life is at right now. It's going in until one. So I have a little bit of time to edit this reel I just put together and then maybe start editing my video for tomorrow's upload, which this week I think it's 
I think this week's video I'm doing, um, I already filmed it, I have to edit it, but I think it is like talking about how I went back to hair school, like how I went to school later in life. So that will be a really good one. That will be up by the time you guys see this. So if you wanna go back and check out my Wednesday video, that would be great. Oh, you guys, I can't, I can't even make this shit up. I can't, oh, I can't. Hi, Lou, I'll be back. It is currently quarter to four and I'm home for the day. Unfortunately, my 3.30 men's cut, he had to reschedule due to an emergency and which that is fine, that's life, life happens. And then the last two of the day for me, I think I already said have COVID. So yeah, it is not even four o'clock and I'm home. I went in for one color and cut today. Nothing we can do about it though. But then I'm wearing my harness, my cute dress, my docks and my tights. I went to the grocery store and this lady like mid, shop like interrupted me i was like i love your outfit and i was like oh thanks <laughs> it was funny though it was really sweet she was kind of an older lady so to get a compliment just walking through the grocery store you know sometimes you need that it was just like a nice little unexpected pick me up so it's nice to get a compliment when you don't even know what's coming whatsoever so i was like oh shout out to that lady for uh stop me and give me a compliment anyway before it gets dark here i'm going to quickly change and take banksy on his w I can't say it because he'll freak out, but I'm gonna take him since the sun is still out. Tomorrow is supposed to be really, 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 really cold for the next, starting tomorrow for the next few days. So I figure one last like cold dog, Eric takes both of them individually every night. So if I can at least take Boogie, then that's one last dog for Eric to have to walk when he gets home. Time to change, get this little shithead out walking. <laughs> We just finished dinner. I made scrambled eggs, which not to toot my own horn, I am so good at making scrambled eggs. And tonight's were, we did egg bagel sandwiches. And then I had like some crispy crown, like tater tot things to use up. So we did those in the air fryer. And I don't know about you guys, but even if I'm on a diet, which I don't even use that word in my vocabulary usually, I'm trying to lose weight, but I'm also trying to just finally figure out healthy habits, if that makes sense. But I'm definitely one of those that I'm a fan of carbs. I don't believe in keto. If you do keto and that works for you, then that is great. I personally, with my, my eating disorder history, and recovery I personally cannot eliminate like do any like food eliminations for my diet I like carbs <laughs> so we did egg bagel sandwiches and just some like random tater tot things and it was good I have officially began oh my god lumen has these fucking the drapes all like jacked up I have officially started tracking my food intake again, which has been interesting. See the categories that I am eating like most calories in and that kind of stuff. And it's just kind of nice like self-awareness. It just feels good, like I said, to be tracking again, working out again, and just putting in the effort to take care of myself. And I know that if I put in the work right now for this year of 2022, that's like my main focus for this whole entire year of 2022 is self-care and health and just really focus on learning about health and nutrition and learning about psychology and why I do the things I do with food or when I don't eat or like just kind of figure that ish out too. Good morning. It's Wednesday, 6.45. Let's get this day going. I'm gonna get a workout in and then we've got a busy day ahead of us. Hey guys, oh man, what a whirlwind of a morning. Got my workout done. It's 8.45 now. I have my YouTube video processing to upload right now and it's time for me to get ready to go to work. I am excited it's Wednesday because that means tomorrow is my Friday. Eric and I ordered new iPhones, which I think I already mentioned, shipped, mine's still on back order. But I'm so excited to get the new phone because that just means I'll be able to just have better quality content that I post on Instagram, which I'm really excited for that. I am very thankful that the sun is out today because it's gonna be a cold one. Feels like negative 10. Sun is shining, which thank, like I said, thank God for that because if the sun wasn't out, yeah. I'm gonna finish getting ready for work here and I'll catch up with you guys probably later tonight. Done with today's Instagram reel. I just have to edit it together. I'm covered in fuzz. It is 9.41 now, so I actually have time to make some food, which I feel really excited about because I'm gonna have a busy day today and I need to eat now, and I also need to figure out something to eat for lunch to take with me. So I'm gonna finish getting this video 
for today's upload finished. It's uploaded, I just need to make a thumbnail and eat some food, figure out what I'm taking. So I'm gonna put you guys down so I can get going and get after it and I'll see you when I see ya. I wasn't supposed to see you guys until after seven o'clock tonight and it's 3.30, I should not be home right now. Another COVID cancellation and it's getting to the point where I think a stylist, at least where I live, are expecting at least one a day. I mean, a coworker of mine had two full color cuts cancel today because of COVID. Thankfully, mine was just one color cut. It's getting old, trying to stay positive, but it's hard. I'm gonna make myself a personal pan cheese pizza because I just don't give a flying F-U-C-K right now. I just need to eat something. I have an hour until I have to go back to the salon and then I just have two a men's cut and a kid's cut to finish off the day. And then tomorrow is a short and sweet day and we just gotta keep on one foot in front of the other. Tonight's dinner we are keeping super simple with literally potatoes and broccoli. I'm gonna try it with just a sprinkle of some nutritional yeast and that's dinner. It's Thursday now and I'm home from work. It is 2.30. I stopped and supported local. Got some adobos, which is a local Mexican spot that just chef's kiss. Their salsa is probably one of the best where I live. Got Banksy, of course, sniffing it out. Trying to get some, huh? Home from work now. Today was actually a really good day. I just had a color and then two men's cuts and my last men's cut was actually a new one. So that's always nerve wracking, but good. And it ended up being really good. Cluster F-U-C-K of a week just with COVID and just all the cancellations and everything. I'm just so happy I don't have to work until Saturday now. Tomorrow I can just be at home in my own little bubble and just live my life. This week I've been really good about posting weekly like daily get ready with me videos and this morning since Thursdays I work earlier I just didn't have a chance to post it yet or even put it together. I had only enough time to film it and then get out the door to work. I'm gonna sit here and I'm going to get that uploaded and on to my Instagram feed and then I eat some lunch and it feels like negative. Thank God the sun is out today because if the sun wasn't out, it'd be a hell of a lot colder. I'm gonna eat and like I said, get this posted. I hope you guys have had a really good week. I know a lot of my fellow hairstylists and just service workers in general are feeling it right now and hopefully this is the peak of it and we can just get on our merry happy way to live our lives and somehow move forward. I'll talk with you guys later because my food's getting cold and I want to eat because I'm hungry. Were you sunbathing but now it's gone? I think the sun's nearly down. Balloons are still hanging on and flowers from my birthday. Definitely been in a deaf tones mood lately, but then again, when am I not in a deaf tones mood? White Pony is so good. Can't believe that album came out in the year 2000. I think it was in seventh grade.
Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. We have made it to the end of the week. I obviously, I'm off on Friday, so I don't have to work today, but Eric and I did get up to our workout at 6.30 this morning, so that felt really good. And shout out to my husband because he is not a morning person whatsoever. And the fact that he's gotten up with me every day this week to work out has just it's been great. I am getting my hair done today. My bestie, Tommy, and I She's also a hairstylist at the salon that I work at. We do each other's hair. It is 7.30 now, so I am supposed to meet her down at the salon at 8. So I'm going to actually run out and start my car because I'm sure it's cold. Finished doing hair. I'm now in line at Starbucks. I was going to bring you guys. I did bring you guys with me to the salon, but we were on a bit of a time crunch because my friend Tommy had an appointment to get to. So I didn't want to bog us down with that, but I need to get a coffee because I need caffeine. I'm not going to get started for Hey, can I please get a grande vanilla sweet cream cold brew? Yeah, what else for you? And that's it. It's gonna be 476. Thank you. Ooh. Colder than a witch's tit out there. Huh. Negative degrees out. Iced coffee life. <laughs> Fresh hair. Ooh girl, she feels so good to have fresh hair. I literally had her put a foil here and like two here and a few up front. I just <laughs> didn't need a whole lot, you know? Just a little zhuzh. Let's go see what my pit's up to. On bed. Hi, duders. Hi. Oh, hi. Forgot we have the vegan like vegetable stew that I made last night. We have plenty of leftovers of that. that uh, I'll be enjoying for lunch and actually I'm looking forward to it because it's so cold that like a nice warm bowl of like hearty vegetable soup just sounds amazing. God, he's so annoying. I love him, but at the same time. I had finished my Instagram post and then Eric had gotten home. I was gonna eat lunch, but I actually had to run across town to the supply store because my client tomorrow wants like an emerald green color. And I knew I had one tube of that at work, but I wanted to make sure that I had enough for what we were planning on doing. And so I ran across town and it's hard because that side of town has some tempting things as far as food to just stop and grab really quick. And it was like the whole time over there, I was like, no, I'm not gonna get food. And then I was like, you know what? Like you haven't ate anything yet today, treat yourself. And they were like, no, you're, you've got food at home. You've got leftovers. Just go home and eat that. So it was funny cause it was like this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then there was just like wild drivers out today. Like I saw two near accidents on my way home to where I was like, I'm just gonna get the frick home. I was so hungry. I didn't even think about whether I even was in the mood for it or not. I was just like, I have that vegan stew from last night's dinner. I'm just gonna make that and eat it. And I ate it and it was really good. And I'm freaking proud of myself. I really wanted the french fries, you know, or the chips and cheese or breadsticks or, you know, I was just really, I wanted the bad stuff. This has been a really, really long week and so I'm tempted to just climb in bed with my animals and watch a couple housewives or, you know, just some kind of trash TV and just kind of veg out for a couple of hours. I'm gonna clean up here and then I'm probably just gonna be a pile of shit the rest of the day and that's kind of what I need to do. It's really cold out, but at least the sun is out. It could be a lot worse. Feels like negative one. We're making improvements, y'all. <laughs> Puff sweet. 